All right, let's just get into it. So this is my ask framework, A-S-K, ask smart questions. Yes, questions with a K. Ask, because that's my theme, that's my general framework philosophy of sales is you're just there, you're asking questions. So this is a framework, you could call it a script because it's got a, a lot of sentences, one-liners, questions listed out for a B2C offer, for example, a coaching offer, make money online offer. Okay, let's just get into it. So starting off with chit chat slash icebreaker, You'll see my other video in the course for that. Then getting into frame the call, for example, all right, cool. This call is just to see if it's a good fit. If it's a good fit, we'll go over the details. And then from there, this is really just the heart of it is ask smart questions. So for example, a couple good opening lines to kick this off. So talk to me about your situation. So can you tell me a little bit about your situation, where you're at, kind of why'd you book the call and kind of tell me where you're at. Overall, you're just trying to figure out their situation, where they're at, so you can see if it's a potential good fit for the program. And then from there, you're just asking all obvious follow-up questions. Here's some examples of, of questions you can ask. Now, I'm not a fan of having it scripted out like you're gonna ask every single question on your script. I play everything case by case. You're feeling it out. You're listening to what they say. You may not need very many follow-up questions if they're talking a lot. If they're not talking a lot, then you're gonna ask questions. So asking the questions is always, I ask the next question that, that makes sense. I don't have like a list of questions. So here's some optional ammo. I call it ammunition because these are sentences that you can use if needed. Where are you at now and where do you wanna be? So do you have any specific goals in mind? And so if you get that goal, what would that allow you to do like specifically, like in your life? Like what does that kind of look like for you? And so any reason why you think remote closing is specifically the situation for you at this point? Here's a key one. I have this bolded because it's a key one. Make sure to ask them what have they tried in the past and what were their results? Because you can keep going back to this. Like, hey, do you want do you want to keep going back to what you've done in the past or do you want better results? Okay, so figure out like if they've done this exact thing before. So if we're on doing a remote closing offer, have you done remote closing in the past? Okay, have you done other business models in the past? FBA, SMMA, drop shipping, freelancing, blah, blah, blah. So make sure you get into what other things they've tried in the past to get to where their goal is. Ask them, why do you think that didn't get them there? Because then they're basically selling themselves on this solution, right? So, hmm, interesting. So you tried SMMA, like, why do you think that that didn't work out? And then they'll say, right? And so you're getting to understand their history of what they've tried. All right, I think you get it. Another key question, why now and not later? You know, just ask them. So curious, like, why, why are you doing this now? Any reason you're doing this now and, and not later? figure out their urgency because urgency is another thing in the high ticket closing that you're going to need to to use all right so urgency what they've tried in the past very important and then here's another important question anything preventing you from taking action on this that wouldn't allow you to do this now or like kind of anything else that that's stopping you from doing this why are you doing it now right it kind of ties into why now not later this is also going to tie into any other decision makers are involved so you can ask that question if you think it makes sense. Uh, you can ask them, are you doing other interviews or are you checking out other programs? That's a good one to ask. Some people are. Some people hit. Some people are like, yeah, you know, I got, I'm checking out, I'm having calls with three different programs. If are, if they are, ask them. Like what I usually do is like, nice, who are they? Who else are you talking to? I'll just, just ask them. Some people, you know, they'll tell you. And then I'll ask like, nice, did you already talk to them? Or like you're, you have sketch calls already scheduled with them or try to get a feel of, of their situation. And so that's gonna, that's gonna come into play. Next, here's a key part is talk about the requirements. So for example, all right, so we do have some requirements. We need to keep our student success rate at 100% or basically as close to that as possible on our end. So for that reason, we're not able to take on and work with just anyone. So we do have some requirements. So just to make sure like how much time a week do you have to dedicate to this? Uh, just to make sure like, are you for sure you're able to to put in the work like starting now? Uh, just to make sure like what kind of makes you think that you are a good fit for the program, right? And so you're kind of saying, you know, they showed up to the call to, 
to learn more. Your kind of framework is we don't work with everyone. We're here to see if it's a good fit and we're qualifying you to make sure you are a good fit for our program. So always, always have some requirements and that's also known as like turning the tables or flipping it on them and making sure they are able to hold up their part of the bargain because for a lot of high ticket programs, it's gonna require them to put in a good amount of work. So always make sure you're, you're asking them, hey, are you able to put in the fucking work if we are to move forward? Okay, so you've basically you've gathered a bunch of info, talked about the requirements, then if it's clear, all right, it's a good fit, then you kind of move into the next part of it, which is, all right, cool, based on what we've discussed, um, I am now 110% sure we can get you to your goal based on what we've talked about, so I would like to make you an offer, so wanna talk about the program. All right, sounds good. All right, cool, program details, and some, some people have like a, a slides presentation slash demo. Some people have like a framework. Obviously this depends on the program, so I'm not gonna really get into it. In general, typically what high ticket closure you know, coaches talk about is don't get too into detail, keep it brief, talk about the key pillars of the program or the key pillars that create success. You're not giving like an in-depth tour of the entire course or program or anything like that. And then what I like to ask is, all right, cool. So at this point, kind of what are your questions or concerns uh, so far at this point? And then just shut up and see what they say. If they, and you can feel them out like, all right, cool. Uh, if they say like, nah, sounds good. And then you'd be like, all right, let's keep, let's keep going. If they bring up some questions or concerns, then boom, you can start handling their questions and concerns, AKA objections. You know, I just call them questions and concerns, right? And obviously I have noted here, you're gonna to wanna to get good at the most common objections because every offer is gonna have 80, 20 similar objections, similar questions and concerns, right? And then another question you can ask is, cool, so like on your end, just to make sure, like do you think this is gonna get you to the 10K a month or kind of where are you at? And so like you've told them you're sure on your end, make sure they agree on their end that this program, this framework, this course, this coaching or whatever is gonna get them to where they're going. So cool, just to make sure you're confident this program is gonna get you to your goal. I have here, ask them on a scale of one to 10. Now, I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Some, that's something cool Gordon talks about. You can ask them just to be sure, like where, where would you say like on a scale of one to 10, like you know, one being like absolutely not what I need, 10 being like this is absolutely gonna work for me, like this is exactly what I need. You could ask them that if you think it makes sense. The purpose of that is if they're not a 10, then you can keep asking follow-up questions like, Cool, and so so you said eight, anything specifically that has you at an eight, you know, not a 10, and then you can, that's basically there to bring out their questions or concerns, right? If they're a 10, okay, fuck yeah, sounds good. So we're both on the same page there. This is gonna get you there to that 10K a month. Cool, wanna go over the investment? Yep, sounds good. All right, cool. So the uh, the tuition is 5,800, and some people say just kind of pause there, up to you, depends on the offer, um, and then, this is another thing Cole Gordon says. So the investment is 5,800. And, but since we only like to work with action takers, there is an on-call discount of 1K. So it's just 4,800 today. And with that, we guarantee that you're gonna hit your goal within three months or we work with you until you do. So kind of where you at at this end, any questions about that or kind of ready to rock and roll? Boom, right? And at that point, if they have a price objection, well, oh, well, okay, well, I mean, I don't know if I can do that. Like, do you guys have payment plans or, if, you know, if price is good, they're gonna be like, all right, cool. And so then you're gonna be like, all right, cool. If they say ready to rock and roll and say, uh, all right, so what you wanna do the, the 4,800? That sound good? Okay, cool. If they have any questions, obviously answer their questions and then you're just, you know, in answering questions mode, objections mode. If they say, yeah, ready to rock and roll, what you want to do is get them to double confirm. Cool. Fuck yeah. Sounds good. Um, just to confirm, we're going to move on to the next steps and I, I just don't want to waste my team's time or my time. You, so you're like, you're not going to back out tomorrow, right? Like we're a thousand percent good to move forward, right? Just to double confirm, you know, wait to see what they say. Make sure they're enthusiastic. If they're not enthusiastic, be like, oh, all right. Well, I mean, you're not sounding so sure, man. That's what I'm asking. Like you got to put in the fucking work, man. Like, are you, are you sure you're in for this? Right? Like kind of gauge their enthusiasm. Get through that, boom, all right, cool. Sounds good, let's get the money and the contract out of the way, and then I'll get into that in a second. If it's a money concern, you can do it like this. Okay, cool, cool, yep, I hear you, I hear you, yeah, it's a lot of money, man. And so, so cool, so just so we're on the same page, like money aside, are you like 100% in? If they say, yeah, if it were like, you know, money, money is really the only thing I wanna sign up, it's just about the money. And then you can clarify like, okay, 
Are, are you sure it's just about money? No other questions or concerns or anything else? Because I don't want to waste my time going into to payment plans options. Like we can discuss that. But just before we get into like discussing payment options, like you're 110% in, it's, it's just about the money at this point, right? I'll be like, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Then it's like, all right, now you're, you're both on the same page. It's just a matter of helping them figure out uh, the money side of it, right? So it's a cool, since you're totally in, it's just a matter of payment plan that would work for you. We can try to figure out something that's a win-win. So can you tell me like, what's a, what's a payment plan option that would work for you? Like a hundred percent. And then I can, I can tell you if that's something that would be feasible or not. So what's the kind of payment plan that, that you had in mind that would work for you? Like hundred percent. So that's a, that's a tricky ninja one. Now that won't necessarily make sense for every offer because every offer is different in terms of what type of payment plans are available if so um but this is the strategy you can use so you can ask them hey what would work for you 100 percent? like you tell me let's say they go uh if it were like payments of like uh, if you could do five payments of like 1000 like okay then you can say hmm so that would not be possible but what i can do is we can meet you in the middle but that would be an offer that would only be good like if we're moving forward today so what we could theoretically do let's pretend we could do 2000 now and then three payments of 1000 uh, but that would be an offer only if we did it today if i could agree to do that would you be 110 percent in all right and then so basically the idea here is you want to wait uh till they agree to the idea of the offer until you actually make the offer so let's pretend i could get this 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 payment plan approved would you be 100 percent in before i check to see if that's possible or whatever system you got going on Okay, wait till they agree. Okay, then make the offer. Okay, cool. If it's still not feasible for them, you can ask them directly how much cash and credit they have access to. So this is what Cole Gordon uh, does. You can say something like, okay, cool. So since it's just a payment issue for you and you wanna sign up, like, would you mind if I ask you just like directly about your finances so we can potentially work something out? Wait till they agree, right? Cause you're gonna ask them like directly how much money they have. Okay, cool. And so these, here's like a list of questions that, that you can ask. Do you have a credit card? How much credit line do you have access to on those credit cards? What's your credit score? How much cash do you have in the bank? What's your monthly income? What's your monthly expenses? Then you're just transparently asking about their financial situation and helping them come up with a solution, right? Because you guys both want the same thing. They want to sign up, so you're just trying to help them. And so after knowing their finances, you can propose a solution. For example, you know, Cole Gordon says something about this. He's like, all right, cool. So since you only have 5K in the bank, you know, paying 4,800 in full wouldn't make sense, right? But I also think you shouldn't just do nothing because obviously I want to help you get your goal and you want to get to that goal as well. So theoretically, what if we did this? What if you put 1K cash? on your debit card and then 1K on your credit card and then we could do four more payments of 1K. Would you be in if I could get the approval for that? Wait to see what they say. Okay, and that's that's the general idea there. You're just getting a snapshot of their situation and trying to help them. Obviously, if they agree to, you know, to answer those questions. And then here's another one. If they do have a decent credit score, there is Afterpay and Klarna available nowadays which splits the payments into four payments every two weeks if they have a decent credit score or if they have a good credit score it will offer to split it in 12 payments so you can whip that out uh, that's that's plugged into stripe it's plugged into kajabi um, all these payment processors they have afterpay and klarna available so you do have that tool in your toolbox and then boom, basically once they agreed, get the money out of the way, I'm gonna send you that invoice for 2K right now. Go ahead and pull that up and get that taken care of. Let's see, while you're doing that, I'll go ahead and pull up the contract. Let's see, it's just a quick little contract. And something I'll do sometimes is be like, um, hold on, I'm gonna get to refill my coffee or refill my water, like be back in two minutes. So you can both kind of <sighs> take a breath. He's got a second to check his email and get that done. You'll come back, okay, cool, is the invite done? And then you basically just summarize the next steps for onboarding in your email. Just follow that and you'll be all plugged in, man. Awesome, glad we worked that out. Congrats and uh, welcome aboard. So hopefully that was helpful. That's the basic question-based ASK, Ask Smart Questions framework for high ticket offer, high ticket call for a B2C offer. Hope that was helpful. See you in the next one.